Beat Saber, probably one of the most popular games in VR ever, and probably one of the defining factors of why some people bought their headsets. The question is, would it be where it is today without the modders? I don't think so. Well, that's fantastic news, because a brand new BMBF version has recently come out for the Oculus Quest. And today I'm going to be showing you exactly how to install it and take you through it step by step. Also, just a quick mention, because I just want to acknowledge this, the channel is growing so unbelievably fast. Just recently we hit 80k, and now we're already at 81,663 subscribers. That is absolutely insane, and I just want to acknowledge it. Thank you all so much once again, and let's get right into the video. Modding Beat Saber on the Oculus Quest is not as simple as it is on PC. You don't just install an app and everything magically works. That and it usually takes a lot longer for new BMBF versions to come out for the Quest. BMBF being the software used on the Quest to mod Beat Saber. And I won't lie to you, I'm quite excited and I think my mom is too. So let's get right into it. First thing you're going to want to do is turn on your quest and make sure you're on the latest Beat Saber version. Now, one thing important to mention is this will wipe your progress because what it does is it uninstalls the game, mods it, and reinstalls it. So in case you have any progress locally on here that you require, it's going to wipe it. That and it is also important to note that on this latest version, I don't think all mods work just yet. So once you've turned on your quest, you're going to require one of two things because we are going to need to sideload the app onto the quest. You will require either a phone or a computer of some sort. So if you're using a phone, it's going to need to be an Android phone and you can use either Bug Jaeger to sideload BMBF or you can just make life much easier for yourself and use the new SideQuest app from the Google Play Store. However, we are going to use the computer, but the process is basically the exact same. You want to fire up SideQuest or the command line if you know how to use that, and we need to sideload this to the Quest. So grab your Quest, connect it to your computer using a Type-C cable or to your phone using a OTG cable, and let's get this thing sideloaded. So once you've connected your Quest, you're going to see in the SideQuest window that your Quest is, as a matter of fact, connected, showing its IP address, etc. Then what you want to do is in the top right hand side, click into the search window and search for BMBF. Press enter and you'll be taken to the BMBF SideQuest store page. Then here you can see that the latest version of BMBF currently, as per recording this video, is 1.15. Scrolling down, you can see that it was released on September the 3rd, quite literally only three days ago. Scroll back up, click install to headset, wait for SideQuest to sideload BMBF to your headset, and you're done. Now on your phone, it's really much the same. Install SideQuest off the Google Play Store, just like we talked about at the very beginning. Find an OTG cable, which you will require, or a Type-C to Type-C cable, which you do actually get with the Oculus Quest 2. Plug your phone into your Quest and tap in the top right-hand corner. Search for BMBF, and boom, you will be once again taken to the store page on your phone. Tap install to headset and your phone should sideload the app straight to your headset. Again, SideQuest really just makes this way too simple. So once you have BMBF successfully sideloaded to your Quest, from here on out, it's actually very simple. Fire up your Quest and in the top right, go to unknown sources. Then select BMBF from the list. Firing up BMBF, you'll see it'll first ask you to uninstall Beat Saber. Pretty obvious here, but make sure you have it installed. Then click uninstall Beat Saber. Then what you want to do is you will need to patch Beat Saber. So click on patch Beat Saber and have BMBF patch the file. Once BMBF is done patching the file, it'll ask you to reinstall it. So click on install Beat Saber. Then your quest will probably tell you that you need to enable unknown sources. So just click OK there there and tick unknown sources. Then go back, click install Beat Saber again, and then click install. While Beat Saber is installing, you will probably get an error message with package, manager, stopping or crashing. Do not click close, click wait, or else, you know, it won't install. Once Beat Saber is installed, you're ready and off to go. BMBF should launch, throwing you straight into the main menu with the songs. So now let me show you how to install a few of the songs and how to sync all of this to Beat Saber later on. So on the top, you have your browser. In your browser, you can find a bunch of different songs from Beast Saber or Beat Saver. And in here, all you do is you find the song you like, or like me, just scroll through random songs and click the download button, which is the little down arrow. Now, some songs fail here for me for some reason. However, most should install just fine. It'll give you a big green message once it's downloaded fine and installed. Just by downloading the song, you're actually not done. You still have to click that huge red button in the top right corner that says sync to Beat Saber. Now, once you click that, 
you're fully done. Let's start Beat Saber and see if it works. And launching Beat Saber, you see it has fully reset, just like I said it would. However, clicking into solo now, you can see up at the very top, 29 songs loaded. So just like that, we have installed custom songs onto Beat Saber and it is fully working. You can install any song you like now and you're free to play whatever you like on 1.17. The incredible BMBF modders have done it once again. Okay, so now let's move on to the fun part, which means literally every other mod except for custom songs. How would you install that? Well, fire BMBF back up on your Oculus Quest, click into tools, and in the top right corner, you're gonna get an IP address. Now, remember that IP address and put it into Chrome or whatever web browser you use on either your computer or your phone. Now join the Beat Saber modding Discord and head over to Quest Mods. In Quest Mods, find any mod you might like and download it. Then head back over to the website you opened using that IP address. Now do keep in mind that if your Quest goes to sleep, well, that IP address might stop working. So I don't know, like put a tissue in it or something to make it think that there's a head inside. Now when firing up that IP address in your web browser on your PC or your phone, you're going to notice it's asking you to upload a file. Any file you download from the Beat Saber modding Discord, any Quest mod, all you do is you drag it into there and upload it. Once you have all your mods dragged in, all your mods that you want to be installed, click in the top right corner, sync to Beat Saber. Boom, you're done. It's that simple. Heading back over to the quest, we can now see in the mods tab that all the mods are successfully there and installed. Let's start up Beat Saber. Now instantly I can see to the left hand side that all the mods have successfully been installed. And up top, we now see a clock, which means my clock mod is fully working. Heading into a game to see the hit visualizers in a song, we can see that those are also fully working. Going over to mod lists, all the mods are green, which means there should be no issues. Now a huge, huge benefit of this new BMBF update is the fact that we have a song downloader inside the quest. Now this could have already existed and I'm just too stupid to recognize it in the older Beat Saber versions but I never had it and that is a huge update because every time I wanted to download a song I had to fire up BMBF and download it there however here you can do everything inside the quest and it's so damn simple it works so damn well and I just want to say a huge thank you to the BMBF modders for getting this working for us it's absolutely fantastic and makes our lives so much easier and our gaming time a lot funner. So there you go. That is literally how simple it is to mod Beat Saber to have custom songs on the latest version of Beat Saber. It's incredibly, incredibly simple. Thanks to the unicorns over at BMBF. This is absolutely fantastic. I hope this could help you out. I hope it wasn't too difficult. And uh, yeah, if you guys have any issues, make sure to ask them down below or check out our Discord and ask on there. Have fun playing your custom songs as I think that is what really makes this game truly amazing. And I can't wait to try out noodle extensions on this. <laughs> Having that thing be completely wireless, not have to worry about wires or anything, is, is amazing in Beat Saber, seriously. But that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I hope you all have a fantastic day or night. Thank you all so much to everyone who joined us yesterday in VR chat. It was an absolutely fantastic night. I, I honestly don't know what happened. All I know is that it was incredible and the memes were beautiful and we need to repeat it today. It was just absolutely amazing. We did some questionable things. Well, I did some questionable things. Very questionable things. That's oh, it. That's oh, it. Oh, so you're Here chosen. You oh, so, oh, so you have chosen death. You have challenged him. You challenged Mystical and now- Holy Someone take a picture of your body. Does I've, got you on stream. I've got you on stream. I've got you on stream. I've got you on stream. We, we did yoga? Both fingers oh, God. Towards oh, that there. hurts. Oh, that hurt my right shoulder. Oh, <laughs> Why are we doing this again? The breathing? Damn, I hope I'm not missing the yoga, yoga session. Uh, no, you're good. <laughs> no, oh, you're good. Oh, oh. I just heard a lot of cracks. Oh, How is she piece. doing that? This is, this is not oh, beginner's right, yoga. My down the length of this point. Really good. Come back up to that point. I'm going to Reverse your circle. Oh, the other way. All right, let your circle get smaller and smaller and smaller here. Um, but yeah, we are definitely repeating that today. So in case you guys are on VR chat later on and see me online, feel free to join or wait on our Discord. But yeah, that is going to be it for today. If you guys liked the video, please leave a like. If you guys disliked it, I guess that's fun work too, but please tell me why down in the comment section below. If you guys are not yet part of our community, make sure to join our Discord down below, make sure to join our Reddit, where I want to see you posting your spicy memes. If you guys would like to support the channel in any way, shape, or form, we've got sick mugs down below that boost your FPS by 300% and merch that doesn't put a huge on your body. And if you guys want to new after your content coming up on the channel, then make sure to smack those with your forward ding by balancing the next video. Peace.